Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Let Me Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to move objects with buttons. So already in the simulator are an example of what we're creating today. We have four buttons at the top, one, two, three, and four, and this button with a smiley. Now the buttons at the top, once pressed, will move the button with the smiley. So we press two. The button underneath moves underneath button 2, 3, 4, and then back to 1. You can go anywhere you want. So that's simply what we're going to be creating today. So already have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone. And I've simply named it Moving Objects for the purpose of this tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is add the buttons into our X5D. And then create the outlets and actions. So we'll just place it in there, button, name it 1, and then we just copy and paste it so we have 4 all together, and then, ooh, and pull it in, centre it so it's in the middle, and then make another one and pull it underneath. Now I'll name these 1 to 4. And just like in the simulator, I'll make this a nice little smiley face. So then once we've done that, bring up our assistant editor here. And then we'll create the brackets here so we can split our outlets and actions. And now we need to add four buttons, actions for our buttons. So we'll do button one. To speed it up, I'll just copy and paste. Two, three, and four. And then an outlet for our button. We'll just simply name it button move, as it's going to be the button that will be moving for our outlet on our bottom one. So then once we've done that, we need to link up the remaining buttons there as we quickly add them in. So make them all touch up inside. So once you added the actions and outlets, we can now close that to a single view. Jump into our view controller.m. And now just make sure we got all four of our button actions there. Space them out nicely so you can clear this in. And then what we're going to do is button one here. We start the code in there. So we do cg rect space frame equals button move dot frame now my semicolon press enter so frame dot origin dot x space equals and now I'm going to put the number zero now um, the origin of dot x here in our frame where the zero is will be the coordinates to where we want the button to be. So we do frame dot origin for dot y for our y. So if we press button one, at the moment the coordinates are set at zero zero, so it will make the button appear in the top left of our screen. So we just enter now and we do bracket UI view space begin animations. First highlight section nil in the context nil. And again, bracket UI view space set animation duration. And this will be how long it takes for the button to move from the location it's at to the one that you have set it to. Now I'm gonna do half a second, so we'll do 0 0.5 as it works in seconds. Now we're semicolon, then button move dot frame will equal the frame and that with a semicolon and then just to make the animation happen we do UI view commit animations and that with a semicolon. Now we need to find out the coordinates of the button so button one will make it move to where it is now already and the coordinates of that are 3271. So we do 3271. 
Now we just copy it and paste it. So if we move, so when the button two is pressed, you want the button to go here. Now Y stays the same because it's at the same kind of level. But then what changes is X, which is X is 98. Then we just change it here to 98. Y stays the same. And then for button three. So again, Y stays the same, but X changes to 164. 164. And finally, button four. That will be changed to 230. So 230 there. So if we just move our button back to the start. So okay, so we just break down our code here. So what we're doing is we're setting the um, coordinates of our button. So 32 and 71 is where we want the button, our outlet of our button to move to. And it's gonna happen within half a second. So if you go to build and run in the simulator, <clears throat> once it loads up then, so we press button one. Now because it's already in that position, so it won't move. And then button two slides along nicely in half a second. Button three and button four. We jump back to button one. So it's a longer distance and all these animations happen within half a second as we've set it to. So you could adjust the animation um, duration to like a second, maybe five seconds. You know, just play around a bit and see what you can come up with. But it's a great little feature there for moving, moving stuff around the screen. And uh, you can have fun with it. So that's simply how you move objects around the screen. Well, simply with using buttons. So I hope this helps and, you know, helps out any of your apps or projects at the minute. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like and favour all our tutorials as it really does help us out and gains us a wider audience for more people to learn from our videos. Make sure you like and, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you go check out all our apps which are on the App Store just by simply searching Geek Element. And once again, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.